Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making Tiffany Valentine, Chucky's bride. She is, I would say, almost all no so. We are going to start with her arms and then we'll do her head, attach her arms, move on to her dress which is all still one piece, then we'll go down to her legs and her shoes. Um, we'll be a, doing a little bit of a embroidering on her face. Her hair will take a little bit. And then her knife and jacket. And I'm going to try and make this all one part. So it's going to be another long one. This is a crochet along. So I will be doing every stitch with you. Except for a couple of repeat rows about here. And maybe the second leg. As well as I'll be putting in... Um, old video for the head so if you see me using brown or a different color just make sure you're using the skin color and if for some reason you get lost or I say the wrong stitch count or row number there will also be a little drop down um, for about 15 seconds of every row that you can always go back and look at if you need to also, don't forget, if you like my videos, to hit the subscribe button, and that really helps me out, as well as will send you a notification every time I load a new video. And sometimes, remember, check down in the description, because there is sometimes links to other um, characters that I made that kind of go with the set. Like, I have a Jason and a Freddy and a Sam. Um, I think that's it. Okay, let's get started. So grab your skin color and we are going to begin with the arm. And you're just going to make a knot with a loop at the end. You can always use a magic circle too. You just have to keep the same amount of single crochets. So insert your hook. Grab your yarn. Chain one. And this is just to attach your yarn. This does not count as a stitch. So for row one, we're going to do six single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So increase one and two in the same stitch. Increase three and four in the same stitch. Increase five and six in the same stitch. Increase seven and eight in the same stitch. Increase nine and ten in the same stitch. And our last increase. 11 and 12. For rounds 3 to 5, we are just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to count consecutively. So that is 3 rows 
of 12. So 12 times 3 is 36, and we'll just flip our stitch marker every time we hit a set of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Flip your marker if you're using one. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Flip your stitch marker. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. For row six, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease for a total of eight. So one decrease for two, three decrease for four, five decrease for six, seven, and decrease for eight. Rows 7 to 14 are just going to be 8 single crochets all the way around. Um, so that's 64 stitches if you want to do them all at once. Um, I'm going to do 2 sets of 4 rows. So I'm going to do 32, then restart and do 32 again. Just in case I make a mistake or lose count. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flip your stitch marker. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, flip your stitch marker, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
24, flip your stitch marker, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Flip your stitch marker. So that's four rows of our eight. So I'm going to start counting again at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flip your marker. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Flip your marker. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, whoops, thirty, thirty-one, and thirty-two. Now, if you just want to check. You should have 14 rows, so starting down at the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. All right, you can take your stitch marker out if you had one. And we are going to put some stuffing in the little hand. So just take a tiny little bit. Split it in half. That might be a little much, actually. And then just kind of check that you have the same amount in both sides so that your arms are stuffed evenly. And then just set that one piece aside till you're done your second arm. And we're just going to put that down into the very bottom of the hand and that will give her some shape in her hand but it will not um, fill up her arm so that it sticks straight out plus we're putting a jacket on her so there's going to be even more bulkiness in that area and once you're happy with the amount you have we are just going to close that up so you're going to fold it in half then you're going to put three single crochets across the top. So starting in your next stitch and then going over to this last stitch through both sides of the V and then make your single crochet. So that's one, two, and three. 
and then just finish that off leave a little bit of a tail about six inches or so because we are going to use that later Okay, um, so if you're on your arm one, I am going to put a little screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp and you can go back to do your second arm. If you're already done your second arm, just keep on watching. Um, in about five seconds, we will go to the head. Remember that I am using a pre-recorded video for that and it's going to be in a different color. You stick to this color and you'll be all good. To begin, we are just going to make a loop as if we were going to start a chain. So just wrap it around your finger, down and through. We're going to be putting six single crochets in there. So make it about just a little bigger than your hook and we're going to put our, our hook in the loop, grab the yarn, pull through and just do one chain to secure our yarn to our loop and that does not count as a stitch. So for round one we're going to do six single crochets. So one two, three, four, five, and six. Grab your stitch marker if you're using one and I'm just using a piece of thread and for round two, we're going to do six increases. So that'll be two st <clears throat> excuse me, stitches in every stitch around. So first increase, one and two. Increase, three and four. Increase, five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. And our last increase, eleven and twelve. Flip your stitch marker. And for round three, we are going to be doing one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18 and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one increase, two and three. And then repeat that sequence. Four, five and six. Seven. Increase eight and nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase fourteen and fifteen, sixteen. And our last increase, 17 and 18. For row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around. One, two, and our increase, three and four. Five, six, 
increase seven and eight. Nine, 10, increase for 11 and 12. Whoops. 13, 14, and our increase 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase 23 and 24. Row five, we're gonna do three single crochets, one increase all the way around and repeat that for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Repeat that over, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. Eleven, twelve, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase for 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23 and 20, whoops, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, increase five and six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, increase 11 and 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, increase 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, increase 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, an increase for 29 and 30. 31, 32, <clears throat> 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Whoops. 
For round seven, we're gonna do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, and our increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, increase, 20, and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, oops, 30, 31, 32, 33, and our increase, 34 and 35. This should be our last set, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our increase, 41 and 42. For rows eight, to 14, we are just gonna do 42 single crochets all the way around, and that'll be seven rows. I'll do the first row with you. Oops. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30, oops, 36, 37, and we are just catching here, 38, 39, 40, 
41 and 42. Okay, so that would have been row 8. So you're just going to keep continuing on, row 9 to 14. Um, so that'll be six more rows. And I will come back and catch you up when we're ready to start row 15. Okay, you should be ready to start row 15, which is going to be five single crochets and one decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do a decrease for six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and a decrease, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, decrease 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, decrease 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, whoops, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36 is a decrease. Row 16 is going to be four single crochets, one decrease all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, four, and five is a decrease. Six, Seven, eight, nine, ten is a decrease. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is a decrease. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is a decrease, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is a decrease, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 is a decrease. Row 
Row 17 is going to be three single crochets and one decrease all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and four is a decrease. Five, six, seven, eight is a decrease. Oops. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen is a decrease. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is a decrease. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four is a decrease. Row eighteen is going to be two single crochets and one decrease for a total of eighteen. One. Two, three is a decrease, four, five, six is a decrease, seven, eight, nine is a decrease. 10, 11, and 12 is a decrease. 13, 14, 15 is a decrease. 16, 17, and 18 is a decrease. Okay, you should have just finished row 18 and you now have your two arms and your head and we are ready to attach the arms on row 19, which will be three single crochets, three single crochets through the arm, six single crochets across the front, three single crochets through the arm, and then another three single crochets for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so we're gonna do our three single crochets. One, two, and three, and then you're gonna grab your arm, making sure the tails are facing the front, your stitch marker is the back, and then your front is over to this way, to the left. And you're gonna go through that first stitch in your arm, and the next stitch right there, in your head. And give it a pull to make sure it's nice and tight. Whoops. And then you're just going to grab your yarn and go through both pieces. So that's one, two, and three.
Then you're going to do six single crochets starting in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab your other arm. And remember, strings facing towards the front, so this time they're going to go to the right. Oh, I'm in a weird position. I can't even get my arm around my camera stand here. Okay, so then in the next stitch, you're going to do your next three single crochets to the arm and the head. So that's one. two and three and then you should have three stitches left I can't even twist my needle whatever I've done two and three okay for round 20 you're gonna do two single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, increase, three and four, five, six, Increase seven and eight and make sure you don't go over that tail. We need it on the outside nine Ten Increase eleven and twelve Thirteen Fourteen Increase 15 and 16. 17. 18. Increase 19 and 20. 21. 22. And increase. 23 and 24 but don't finish off this last stitch leave your two loops on there because we are going to now attach the white and you might not see it on my screen because this is looking white um, but I am changing colors so we're just going to tie that on give it a good couple of ties And then clip whatever skin color you've been using. So we are done with that for now. All right, pull your white through. And now for row 21, we're gonna split that into two rows. The front loop will be row A and the back loop will be row B. And to go in the front loop, instead of going straight through and under your stitches, you're going to go down and up and come through the front loop. So we're going to begin in the front loop only with a slip stitch. And then we're going to do double crochets. Now the general rule for chaining up with a double crochet is to do it twice. Um, I've always had to do it one time, otherwise my chain seems way too long. So I'll be chaining one, you chain one or two, whichever you need to do. And then we're going to start our first double crochet in that same stitch. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook. You can go into that same stitch, the first front loop, grab your yarn, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn again, 
and you're going to pull through two of those loops, grab your yarn again, and pull through the other two left on your hook. So I'll do the next one slow with you again, and then we will speed it up a bit. So go into your front loop, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again, and go through the first two loops, grab your yarn again, go through the last two loops. So you have two single crochets and your chain, and your chain does not count as any stitches. So we are going to have 24 double crochets all the way around, not including the chain. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Can't get in there. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 15, 16, that's one under both, I think I'm on 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then you're just going to come and join up here um, at the top, just in front of your first um, double crochet. Now you can tie off now and rejoin if you want, but I'm cheating and I'm just doing two chains. because This is the back and she's wearing a jacket. You're not going to see it anyways. Then I'm going to come in on this first back loop and I'm just going to do a single crochet. And this will be row 21B, 24 single crochets all the way around. And so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you seem to be struggling, you see what I've done? I folded my my um, double crochets down so they're out of my way and I can see all my back loops. Eleven, twelve, <clears throat> excuse me, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, you might have to search for that 24th one down in there. Just make sure you have 24, even if you have to do an increase. And then you're going to join, find your first single crochet, which is right here. And you're going to join right behind that. Well, this will be your first of the next row. So let's just make, let's just, ah, I screwed that up. My stitch marker is going to be in the wrong place. Okay. I'm going to move my stitch marker and then go in and do my first single crochet of the next row. So that'll be one. Sorry about that. Rows 22 and 23 are just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. So if you did like me, you have your first one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then our second row of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. For row 24, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. Yeah. So one, two, three, increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten, eleven, 
12, 13 increase, 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18 increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29, whoopsie, and 30. For rows 25 and 26, we are just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And that was one row of two, so this is our second. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so for row 27, we are going to split that again. So 27A will be in the front loops, 27B will be in the back loops. I'm just gonna move my stitch marker. And we're gonna be doing half double crochets. So to begin, we are gonna slip stitch in the front loop. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet 
or sorry, we're going to do our chain one first, and then we're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch. So you go in, grab your yarn, pull through three loops on your hook, just like when you did the double crochet, and except now you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to go through all three loops. And we'll do that one more time slowly. Yarn over into the front loop, grab your yarn, pull up and through, grab your yarn and go through all three loops. So you have two double crochets and your chain. Your chain doesn't count towards anything. So we are going to do now for um, 27A, we're going to have four half double crochets, one increase for a total of 36. So we have two. So do our third. Three, four, and then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. Five, and six. And then we're just going to repeat that, repeat that all the way around. Oh my goodness. So seven, eight, seven, nine, ten, then we're going to increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then our increase, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and our increase, twenty-three and twenty-four, Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and our increase, twenty-nine and thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, 33, 34, and our increase, 35 and 36. And then we're just going to join behind our, behind our first double crochet, so in front of the chain, but behind our first, or sorry, half double crochet. And we're just going to join up in there, and I usually have to go through the top and then through the bottom for some reason. I can't get right. There we go. And the slip stitch. And we're going to chain one. And now, I'm not naming these rows, they're just, we're going to do four rows of half double crochets and then we're going to slip stitch, chain one between all the rows. So in the same stitch, half double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and then you're going to slip stitch into that same place you did down here, just behind your first half double crochet, do your chain one, and then come back down that same stitch to start your second row of four half, 36 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36, and then slip stitch to join. Do your chain one, and then this will be your third row of four and that's starting in that same stitch you slip stitched another 36 all the way around one two up, three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Do your slip stitch and your chain one. And this is our last row, row four of four. And we will be doing another 36 starting in that same stitch we just slip stitched. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen, <clears throat> fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. And then you're going to slip stitch. And now we can tie that off. If you want to double check before you cut, you should have five rows, four we just did, and our very first one in the front loop. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I might do that a double. And then you can just weave that in or flip it down out of your way. I'm flipping mine down because I don't want to go in through any of these stitches yet. And I'm just going to weave it up here at the end and then go 
up inside somewhere. So as long as it doesn't bug you hanging down there, that is the way I would do it. Um, now you're going to grab your skin color again if you want. Um, if you're concerned about her being naked underneath and you want to make her little underwears, just keep going in the white till we get to the legs. Okay, going back to your skin color or if you've chosen a fun color to make little underwears with. You're going to grab that. You're going to make your knot with the loop at the end so we can attach that color. And for row, this will be 27B, we are going to go in the back loops and we'll be doing 30 single crochets. So starting in your first back loop, I know it's a little tricky to see. Whoopies. I'm just going to attach our yarn. almost looks like white. I'm sure it's my beige color. <laughs> We're going to do 30 single crochets in the back loop. So starting in that same stitch, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. If for some reason you're not at 30, just do an increase or a decrease to make it 30. Nobody's going to know but you. Plus it's under her dress and will be behind her jacket and it's on the back. Alright, I'm going to bring out my stitch marker now. And for rows 28 and 30, we are just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. And remember when you start, you had you attached and then single crocheted. So make sure you go behind the single crochet, not over in your where you attached. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then another row of 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. I got worried there for a minute. I was at 30 and didn't see my stitch marker. For row 31, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, Decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Okay, before we go any further, we better get her stuffed up and add some eyes. So I always like to stuff her head first. Then I can place the eyes and I know that once I get her closed up and finished, that her eyes are where I want them and they don't end up like 
a little on the wonky side, up or down or too far apart. To begin, what you're going to want to do is find your center. So what I do is I use these six single crochets that we made when we went in front between the arms. So you'll have one, two, three on this side and one, two, three on this side. So that to me is my center. I'm just going to kind of come straight up and that's about where I'm going to put my, actually I might put one down. So that's what I'm going to make my center. Just have a look, make sure you feel right about that. And then you are going to come down 11 rows from the top and your eyes are going to go between rows 11 and 12. So you're going to start right here where you made your loop as row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I happened to put my marker right between eleven and twelve. Now you're going to go three stitches over or holes. So there's your center. One, two, three. And you're going to put your eye into that hole. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and this isn't a rule. This is just what I did. If you want it to look more like mine, if you want to change that up, you feel free and do whatever you want. And then we're just going to have to take our stuffing back out and put the backs on those eyes. And might as well take it all out. There's hardly any left. And we're just going to snap that down as far as we can. And then do that on the other side. You don't want any stuffing in and around there. And then just push it down again. Listen for those clicks. That wasn't a click, that was my wrist snapping. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And now you can put your stuffing back in. Make sure you got all your strings on the outside that you need on the outside. Looking at my hands, I don't know if they look like that on your guys' screen, but they look like they're all red. I'm a farm girl. <laughs> Dry hands and roughed up hands. They ain't pretty. But they also aren't anything to be ashamed of. <laughs> okay, I need more stuff in. So we want to have our head fairly firm because we are going to um, do a, a very, very tiny amount of sculpting, if you even call it that for what I do. But And watch, you don't under, overstuff. I have a tendency to overstuff right here and you can see my stitches are already starting to stretch. Partially because I use a bigger hook than I should. But if you've been with me making all these characters, it's kind of too late to go down hook size now or they won't all be at the same size. And then just put a little bit in her body just to give it some shape. And you'll finish adding the rest in once you get most of the leg done. All right, let's let's put her out for a second and see her. 
There we go. Where is that? No, that's an armor string. Oh, now my stuffing really shows up on this. And did I ever twist her eyes around there? There we go. Now, if you went with a different color for underwears, you're going to want to cut that off and tie off, but leave a string. Um, because when you are done the legs, there's going to be a little hole right here that you're going to have to sew up. And I always use my leg color for that. But you don't want to have your fancy color of underwear and then a couple of stitches of your skin color showing up right there between your legs. So you'll use that string instead of the leg strings when we do that part. Okay, so now we are going to find our center and our sides so that we can do our legs. So just kind of center her and come down nice and tight here. And what you want to find is your top stitch over here and your bottom stitch over here. So this is her front, this is her back. And we are going to count from this stitch over here, over six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is going to be the end of your first leg on the front. And then you're just going to go over one more stitch into the seventh stitch. And that is going to be the beginning of your um, second leg. Now what you want to do is count around including this seventh stitch, you want to go around 12 stitches. I don't know if you can see this color good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you want to go in that twelfth stitch. And it seems off, but let's do it this way. Chucky was off too by one stitch. Hmm. Nope, it's going to, well, it's going to be off, but it's going to be one stitch the other way this time. So you're just going to tie this up. Something simple that you can undo easily tuck it away and we're going to ignore all 12 of these stitches for now. We're going to come over on this side. Move your stitch marker. And we want to have 12 stitches on here. So if you tie it off and you're not sure what to stitch you need to go in, go somewhere here in the back and make sure you have 12 stitches all the way around. If you have to skip where you tied off or put two in, just have 12 going all the way around. So for me, I have one stitch on the back. I'm going to turn mine around because we don't go in that stitch. That's the next leg. And we don't go in that stitch because that's the next leg. So we go just in front of there. And my stitch count is two. Pull it nice and tight. I don't know what I did there. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And flip your stitch marker if you're using one. For rows two to six, we are going to be doing 
12 single crochets all the way around and I am going that's five rows I'm going to just count to 60 um, 5 times 12 hopefully is 60 <laughs> um, we'll know as we get going 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 Flip your stitch marker. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flip your stitch marker, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, this should be our last row, I think, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Yay. Now we're just going to leave this before we do her shoes and we are going to pin this down if you don't have a pin go ahead just use your darning needle whatever you have keep that out of our way and we're going to start our second leg oops didn't cut that 
that. I better cut that before I'm in trouble. Just leave enough so that you can do a color change when you come back to it. And we want the back side. And we need to tie a new knot. If um, you're tying with this color, um, when you close the hole between the legs, leave a little bit of yarn. So you can use that for that. If you're not sure, leave an end on both ends just in case. And then you'll at least have it when we get to that part. And now we are going to insert our hook in the back. So make sure you're in the back, not the front. In that first stitch that you have marked off, you can get rid of that now. You're going to attach your yarn. And then starting in that same stitch, I want to get my leg out of the way and now I got my pin in my way. I should have used a regular pin, but I'll do it this way just in case. All right, so 12 single crochets all the way around for row one of this leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so grab yourself a stitch marker if you are using one. And you want this out of your way on the outside. And starting behind your first single crochet, right there, we are going to do rows two to six. So again, 60 single crochets. And when you're doing this first stitch, make sure you tighten that nice and tight. That helps that gap that's going to be left there. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten. Wait, here is wrong here. Eleven and twelve. Flip your marker, careful not to pull it out. Make sure you go in the right stitch for your next row. So right down in there, it's kind of hidden. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, 
and 24. Flip your marker. Oh, she's coming out on me. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, flip your marker, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flip your marker, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. And don't finish that stitch because we're going to change the black. And I'm going to do it in black. Um, I know it's hard to see, but I feel you guys have gone this far with me. Just listening, you will know exactly what you're going to want to do. And you shouldn't have to actually see me going in the stitch. Okay, so we're going to tie on our black. Cut our skin color. Okay, so for row seven, pull up, finish pulling off through that stitch. We are going to do one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18. Once I get everything situated here. Now I'm going to try and bring it really close. My light might pick up. Well, the first row you'll get because we're going in the skin color. All right. So in the next stitch, one. And then increase. Two and three. Four and an increase, five and six, seven 
and an increase, eight and nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12, Thirteen and an increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen and an increase, seventeen and eighteen. Now flip your marker back and for row eight. We are just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. So make sure you start in the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now we're just gonna get rid of our hook for a minute, pull a little bit of slack out so we can stuff up these legs. We're just going to put it down. You may need to put a little bit down into the body, depending on how much you stuffed her to begin with. You want the body to be softer and the legs to be firmer so that she can stand. So that mostly all went into her body. So now I'm going to do the legs. If you put a little bit extra down, you can kind of bring that back up after. So almost too much and then bring it back. I'm going to stick with that. You want it to be flat and not overflowing because you want your foot to be flat or she will not stand up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So now for row nine in the back loop. So I don't think we've started in the back loop on this one. So instead of going in this first front loop, you're going to go down and around that back loop. And try not to get the stuffing, especially with black. It's so hard to get out and it's so noticeable. So you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease all the way around for a total of 12. So that's one decrease for two. And I'll go slow since it's black. Three. And a decrease for four. five and a decrease for six seven and a decrease for eight take your time I know this part isn't fun nine and a decrease for 10 
11. I'm getting stuffing in there. Shoot. And a decrease for 12. And then for row 10, <clears throat> you're just going to do six decreases all the way around normal way through both loops of the hook or both loops of the stitch. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, and six decreases. This is your last chance to put stuffing in if you need to. I have a little extra up in here that I'm going to squish down. Remember you want it to be flat across, so don't have a little cup here. And then you're just going to single crochet. Or not single, they just slip stitch and tie that off. Leave a little bit of a string to bring it up inside and tie it later. Thread your needle on. And now you're just going to weave. Focus there. It looks okay. In. And out around that last row of stitches. get back to the end or start just pull it nice and tight and just give it a little knot somewhere in the center and then come down in the center again just somewhere fairly centerish and then bring it out the back fairly close to where her legs meet so about right there ish. Now we will put our other leg out and get your hook in there. And now we are gonna, oh wait, we have to undo that last stitch. Okay, for our color change, we'll finish off that row with that single crochet we just took out halfway. Don't finish it. And then we'll tie on our black for that side. I just threw my black away. I didn't even pay attention to where it landed. <laughs> I got it. Okay, not my ball of yarn, just my end. Okay, so tie your black on. Pull that through to finish off that last stitch of the row. And then you're just going to start in the next stitch. And I am going to leave you here to finish off this side. It'll be exactly the same as this side. 
Don't forget to stuff when you get your first two rows of black before you start decreasing. And um, I will join you back when you are got two strings pulled out through here. Um, I'll put a tiny little screenshot in of the net last four rows just in case you can't remember it and you don't want to go backwards. And I will see you back here in a few seconds. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. You're going to have your arm strings left, your white string from the dress, your leg strings, and whatever color you are sewing this little hole up in the bottom. And we're going to start with that one. And you're just going to go in and out between these two stitches here. And these two stitches here. And just go back and forth a couple of times. Making sure you're on each side so you're you're catching a piece every time. And I'm gonna go twice. And then I'm just going to come in here and just grab a little stitch somewhere and tie my knot to secure that. Then we're going the same stitch right close to hide our knot and then come up and out through somewhere. in the back. And for the legs, you're going to take your strings and you're going to pull them so that the bottoms are nice and flat. They can be a little bit concave because this, um, when you tie your knot, there will be a couple stitches for it to bounce back into. So then that way it will stay that way. So tie them nice and tight. Then you're going to hide them somewhere. Remember, you might see this black, so I might come up under the little cuff on the top of her dress there. Then that way, hopefully, you can't see that black. We'll do her little dress. So find where you ended in your white. And remembering this is in the back under a jacket. You don't have to get too fancy. Just kind of come down, weave your way in and out until you get to where the join is. Don't um, pull too tight. What? There we go. Don't pull it so tight that you make a this indented like this. Make sure your tension is about the same as your stitches. And then I'm just going to hide it down inside. You can tie it here if you want. I'm not going to worry about that too much. But since if you don't tie it, you might just want to go back and forth across her body just to give it a little bit of 
I don't know what. Just so you don't have a short end that pops out, I guess. And the stuffing will kind of hold it in place a little bit. Cut that one off. And then we'll do the arms. I cut mine a little short, but they'll still work. So you're going to take your string and you're going to go in the same stitch that you um, attached it to the body. So right down in there. And then come out the back center somewhere. Kind of about the neckline. And then do the same thing for the other arm. Go in the same stitch that you attached it to. You can see where your single crochet was and go down in there. And then come out the same place you took the other arm out. Now we are just going to pull those together. Let's see. We're going to pull them in so you can kind of feel that knot pop or not. And pull the other one. This just kind of makes your arms so they're not quite as, as loose and fall around wobbly. And then give that a fairly tight tie, but don't go so tight that they're coming too far forward. And then you're just going to hide them somewhere. I'm going to go up to the head since it's the same color. a little pull and then cut them off. Whoops. Oh. All right. So we've got the main part of her done. Next, we are going to uh, I think do her face. Um, yeah, I think so. so. Grab, um, I don't know, your arm stretched out all the way length of your skin color and we'll do the nose first. I'm just going to pin it so it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. So starting in the row that you put the eyes in, you're going to go down one, two rows, and then just a little over from the inside of the eye. And then the same thing on that side. Maybe there. And we've got two stitches in between her nose there. I'm just not sure if that's even or not. Okay, so get your skin colored yarn. You're going to come just below the nose somewhere. And you're going to come up where you have one of your pins. Leaving a little bit of string on the outside so you can tie it. You're going to go where your other pin is and you're just going to go back and forth a few times. I think I usually do about four to six. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want to stretch the stitches that you're using. So that's three. This will be four. Five. And because 
So I came up through there. There'll be one more time. And then just go down where you first came through. Pull out that same hole. I have one little spot that's popped up. Funny. Oop. Don't do that. Okay, and then we're just going to tie those. And we'll thread that out through the back. Make sure you're going the same stitch you've been using. And then now we'll do the little tiny bit of face shaping. It's very simple. If you want to do a little more um, across the bridge of the nose where the eyes are, you can try that out. So you're going to come back again in the center between these six stitches. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So about right there. And you're going to go just inside under the eye. Leave quite a bit of string left on this side because you're going to wrap that around her neck after. Then you're going to go just below the outside of her eye and then you're going to reverse that on the other side. You can come just below closer to the outside of the eye and then just below the inside of the eye and then come out that same stitch you just started in. And then you're just going to give that a tug and a push down and kind of see how you, how you want her eyes and her little cheeks to be. And then you're going to give that a tie. You don't have to do this part. I just find it gives, I'm horrible at faces, and I just find it gives it a little bit more than what I'm capable of, just leaving it alone. Okay, and now we are going to weave those ends in and out around her neck. So you want to go just around above the arms there. Just weave in and out. This is really nice when it's a different color because you don't have to guess where you're going, especially as the rounds go up. And then just come out the center somewhere of her back and do the exact same thing on the other side. So now you're going the other way, in and out, just above where you touch the arms, along the neck. And then come out the other, um, the same stitch around. So see, I can't go up and out the same stitch, so I'm going to skip this one and then come out right there, just so they stay the same. Now you're going to do a very loose knot. I'm keeping your strings exactly the way they are right now. I'm going to flip her over and just kind of watch as you pull those stitches in. And make her neck a little smaller. When you're happy with it, 
turn it around, hang on to one of your strings so you know which side you're on, and then just give it a couple of knots. So see, this hand does not let go of this string. Then I know that that's always on the right side. And then we'll just thread that out and through somewhere again. I know this part gets tedious, but well worth it in the end, I think. Oh, I guess I still need my pins. I'm going to pin this out for you, and then it's a lot easier to follow along. So let's get our girl here so we can kind of see what we're doing. Oh, I can't see her very good. All right. So for the eyebrows, we are going to go from the center up about two stitches or rows. So one, two, and we want to have two holes in between. So about there and about there. And then we have to do top of her eyebrow so we're only going up a row and then just kind of to the outside of her eye you might have to move between those two stitches as you're doing it so let's see one two three and a pin one two three and a pin just kind of watch they're looking evenish to you And then the other eyebrow just comes down like a little kink, just kind of across that stitch. So just like that. And then her mouth, you're going to just kind of line up her nose and decide where you want it. Do you want a little outside of her nose or a little inside of her nose? So I'm going outside and I'm second row down from her nose so that's her nose one and then in this this row so just have a kind of look at it you might have to play around a bit then when you're happy grab your black um so just come in here somewhere and I'm going to start with her little mole, which I didn't mention, but we're just going to go in between the mouth and the nose, just actually maybe one over, just kind of just over from where her mouth is going to start. And then you're going to come down and into that pin for the one side of her mouth. Actually, let's make that a little bigger. Let's go around there a couple of times. See, I'm always changing. <laughs> always, always changing what I'm doing. I'm going to go around that about three times. So it just kind of pops out. And I've gone through my stuffing, which is going to be a big pain when I'm done. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Now we'll go down into her mouth pin. And hopefully you left more string over here than I did. And we're going to go over to this other pin. And we are going to come up in our far eyebrow pin.
Where's my other? Oh, there it is. And then into our next pin. Shoot, you know what? We should have went into that pin. Just go right back in the same stitch you were in and go up to that next pin because we got to come back into there to go across. So this is where our first pin was. So you want to be going into this pin right here. Now we go in there and then back out where that first pin was. Now you go down, make that how you want it. Go down to this pin. Go around your stuffing a bit so you don't see a black line here. Ah, I just moved. Is that where I was? One, two, yep, yeah, okay. And come up for your other eyebrow. Then we will go over to the first pin up here. Down to the next pin. And get rid of those. Up back to this where this one was, where you just were. And then down here and out where you started. And hopefully, we don't have to take any of that out. Oh, that could have gone over one. I might leave it though, because it is. Eh. Shoot, no, I gotta take that out. I'm gonna go over to here, I think. Yeah, there's just not quite enough angle on this one. So you may have to do that too, depending on what you think. If our stitches are a little off, or we placed our eyes a little different. And then go out. Hmm, I don't like that either. But that's how it's gonna be. You're just going to tie this and pull it out the back. Right, the, uh, the eyelashes. I don't think I did them. It was only last night. I can't remember, so we're just gonna figure it out as we go. I think the easiest way to start, all our stitches are gonna kinda come out, kinda just around the eye here. So my first eyelash, I want to go even with where I put the um, eyes in. So this row right here, I'm going to go one, two over on this side. And then I'm going to go two over on this side. And we're going to do, um, we're going to just mirror ourselves. So we're going to do one eyelash, one eyelash, and then keep on going. Okay. 
So for this side, we're going to go in right here, just inside the eye. And we are going to come up just below the eyebrow. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And if you have a better way to do this, feel free to do it your way. So I went up two rows and just inside where this was. So one, two, so probably about there. Looks about right. And then you're going to come back in above this somewhere. About there. If you can get a spot in here, I have a spot there. So try and get in there. And then one stitch in front of where you just put that eyelash. Just so there's a bit of a space between the two. And then this one is going to come just above the eye. And this is going to be short. You want to get it kind of even with this. So I'm going to go into a stitch instead of into a hole. So it looks kind of like that. I shouldn't have come out of that. Whoopsie. That's supposed to come back down here. Okay, let's see if we can replicate that on the other side. So I have a stitch now where I want it. A stitch going up. And then, oh, this is going to have to go up a little higher, so maybe catch this little piece here. I'm sorry, I should just let you guys do this one on your own because I'm not. And then here, and across to where you first started, just behind the eye. These are all probably going to look different. Which is good, I guess. Then you're going to take this string. And you're going to go underneath all of your eyelashes. So we can kind of pull them a little more to the eye. So just like that. And then you're going to go in where your last eyelash was. And just come out up in here somewhere. Or you're going to tie it. You may have to move your eyelashes around a bit. And do the same thing for the other side. And go under all those lashes. Sorry, I keep going out of frame here. Make that tight. See, I don't have enough. This eye looks good and the other the eye looks not good. For some reason. Pull them however you want them. And then you're going to tie off. And thread that back out and through. So 
So now I'm going to show you what I did for the hair. So I just grab a book. I believe this is nine inches about, but just test this, the length of your hair. Fold it over against your um, little girl hair and just kind of see the length you want. This is way too long, but that's okay. We can trim it. And then just find something that gives you that length when it's doubled. So all we're going to do is wrap it around. And I went around, I think about 110 times. So do about 50 and then slowly do more as you're putting it on. So I'm just going to do a few just so you can see. I'm going to cut that, and then you're going to cut your lengths of hair. Um, I need a little, there we go. Then at about the fifth row down, so one, two, three, four, five. So this row here is about where you want to have her hair. So we're just going to put a little thread there. And we're going to bring it over um, just kind of outside of her eyebrows evenly, kind of so we're still on the same line. That would mean that would go up here then. Just play with it till you're happy. And then bring it down, kind of even with her arms. And then just pin it there as well. Kind of about the row that her mouth is on. And then you are going to take your hair, one, two, three, four, five, and just slowly start putting it on. So you're going to go in under a row, grab your yarn, and then pull it through. And what I did this time is I started here and spiraled my way inside every single um, stitch. And then once I had that all full, so where would we end? It would have ended about here. I went about every second hole till I got about halfway down. And then I went about every third or fourth hole. So it's a lot of hair. I'm not looking forward to doing this for a second day in a row. <laughs> but grab a coffee, grab a movie or something, somewhere where you're relaxed and can just kind of chill and just kind of put it in at your own pace. And then I will meet you back here. And um, actually, I think I'm going to throw in my pink my pink jacket that I did for Luna and then I'm probably going to throw in the knife I did for Jason and then I probably won't actually be kind of live on this video I guess until after that We'll see. Once I get editing, editing, there's probably something I forgot to do. Whoop. Okay, to get started, you're just going to make a knot with a loop on the end. And you're going to leave yourself a little bit of a tail so that you can weave that in later or go over it. 
and we are going to chain 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. For round one, starting in the second chain from the hook, we are gonna do 26 single crochets. So this is the stitch on your hook. This is your first stitch. This is your second stitch. So that is where we will be going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget to um, keep your chain straight so you're always going on the same side. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And then you're going to chain one and turn. For round two, we are going to do four single crochets, then we're going to chain four and skip four, ten single crochets, then we're going to chain four and skip four, and then do four single crochets for a total of 26. So starting in this first stitch right here, we're going to do four single crochets across, whoops, one, Two. Oh, something's happening here with my yarn. So two, three, and four. And then we chain four. One, two, three, four. And we'll skip four. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll go into the next stitch and we're going to do 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and skip four. One, two, three, four, and go into the next stitch, and we'll do four single crochets. One, two, 
three and four. And when you do this last one, make sure you're getting under both sides of the V in that last stitch. Four, chain one and turn. Okay, now for row three, we are gonna be doing half double crochets. Um, if you've never done one before, I'll just do one or two and then we will continue on. So wrap your yarn over your hook, go down into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through and you will have three loops on your hook. You grab your yarn and you'll go through all three of those loops. And there's your half double crochet. We'll do that one more time. Yarn over, down into your stitch, grab your yarn, pull up through. You've got three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn again and go through all three of those loops. We're gonna do 26 of those. So that's one and two. Three. Four. And the next four will be into these chains and make sure you're starting um, in this first chain here. So one, two, three, four. It might be tricky to get in that first one. So one half double crochet, two half double crochets, three half double crochets and four half double crochets. And this will be the trickiest part. Once we get done this row, it's just gonna be half double crochets all the way around. Okay, so now we'll do 10 till we get to this next section of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we'll do our four single crochets into the chain and make sure you're going into this first one right here, this little bar. Um, it just gets stretched a little, so it's easy to miss. But um, this is your fifth one. So one, two, three, and this one that you have a hard time seeing is your, your first one. Oops, okay, oops. So half double crochet. One, this yarn is not the best. Two, three, and four. And then you should have four single crochets left to the end. So one half double crochet, two half double crochet, three half double crochet and four and you should have a total of 26 all together chain one and turn for round four we're going to do five half double crochets an increase 14 half double crochets an increase and five half double crochets so one Two, three, four, five, and then we'll increase. So we'll put two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Now we'll do our 14 across. One. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. One and two. And then we should have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, and five. Making sure you get through both of the um, parts of the V there. Chain one and turn. For round six, we're gonna be doing six half double crochets, an increase, 14 half double crochets, an increase, and six half double crochets for a total of 30 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then our increase. So two in the same stitch, one and two. And then we're going to do 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then our increase in the next stitch, one and two, and then we should have six half double crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, and find that sixth, last six stitch. Chain one and turn. For round six, we'll be doing seven half double crochets, an increase, 14 half double crochets, an increase, and seven half double crochets for a total of 32. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what we got going on here, I think this yarn is bulkier than most of the Bernat yarn and that's why it's my hook is just going into the into the yarn instead of around it one two three four five six seven so now our increase one and two three four five and then fourteen half double crochets one two
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then our increase. One and two. And then we should have seven half double crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and turn your work. For round seven, we are gonna do eight half double crochets, an increase, 14 half double crochets, an increase, and eight half double crochets for a total of 34. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll do our increase one and two. And then 14 half double crochets. One, two. <laughs> Every time. Three, four, five, six. Seven. <laughs> this pink was maybe I should have done it in black. Was I at seven? I don't even know. There's my increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and now we'll do our increase. One and two, and then we should have eight single crochets left. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one and turn. For round eight, we are going to do nine half double crochets, an increase, 14 half double crochets, an increase, and nine half double crochets for a total of 36. So one, two, three, Four, five, 
believe. Oops. Oh my goodness. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then our increase. One. And two. And then 14 half double crochets. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then our increase one and two, and then we should have nine half double crochets left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine in that last stitch. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks pretty similar to this, rows one to eight. And we are just gonna single crochet along the side, the top, and the other side. And remember, as you're going up, I'm not gonna count the single crochets, but where you have these two lines, that's um, one row of half double crochets and one and the second row. And two rows of half double crochets equals three rows of single crochets. So you want to have three stitches in between each of these rows. So three, three, and then two or three where you do you did your um, single crochets up at the top. And then in each corner you are going to do one single crochet, one um, chain and one single crochet. So one single crochet in the corner, chain one, and one single crochet. And then start your sets of single crochets up the top. Doesn't really matter where you go as long as there's three in each little section between the lines. And then you're at your corner, so you'll single, chain, and single in the same stitch. And then along the top, you're just going to go on the other side of your first um, chain of 27 you made. So just in every stitch.
we're going to chain in the corner if you're there yet. Or I mean single crochet, chain, single crochet. And then we're going to go over that tail and back to your um, three single crochets in each little set of lines. So I think I had three on the other side up here, so I gotta get three up here maybe. So I'm in my corner. I think I'm going to undo that and put, change that around so there's no little hole there. So one single crochet, chain, one single crochet, and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie that off. And then we'll move on to the sleeves. And don't forget, I'll be doing them on the longer jacket, but they're exactly the same, and you'll be doing them on this shorter jacket. Okay, for the sleeves, first you want to decide what is your right side. For me, I like to have my single crochets on the front side instead of like this. This is what I'm going to consider the back side. And we'll have our four single crochets that we have on top and then our four chains that we made when we skipped on the bottom. And then on each side, there's going to be two little holes. And if we don't go in those, um, there will be a hole in, in each side of our sleeve. So we're going to do, um, we're going to have four stitches across the bottom. We're going to have a decrease um, on the side. We're going to have four single crochets across the top, and then we're going to have a decrease on this side. But we are going to start here, kind of in the middle of the bottom arm. Okay, so... We're going to make a loop. Um, you can have a small tail that you're going to crochet over, or make a longer tail. Um, that you can weave in later. Okay. So we are going to start in the third stitch on the bottom. So this is one, this is two, this will be three, this will be four, and this will be our side where we are going to um, decrease. So attach your yarn. Just do a single crochet, and that doesn't count as a stitch. And now we're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's one, and then we are going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So that's two. And then we're going to do a half double crochet decrease in these two stitches, two holes on the side. And then we are going to do our four stitches across. One. Two. three, and four. 
Then we should be back to the side with those two holes. And we're going to do a half double crochet decrease. And then we should have two stitches left on the bottom. So one and two. And that should be our 10 stitches for round one. Okay, grab a stitch marker if you are using one. And now we are going to do um, round two is just 10 single or 10 half double crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more for ten. All right, so rows three to eight, you're just going to keep going around um, ten half double crochets. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's six more rows. So you can either go by rows or you can go like me and I'm just going to do 60 stitches and flip my stitch marker every time I hit a set of 10. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip your stitch marker. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 
37, 47 48 49 and 50 this should be our last row Seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and 60. So that should be your um, six rows we just did, plus your first two rows um, we did before we started counting consecutively. And then we'll just tie that off. And these ends will be weaved in. So I will let you do that. And I will let you um, finish the second arm on your own. And then I will come back um, as soon as we got both arms done. And we are just about finished the jacket. Okay, you should have something that looks similar to this. Okay, so I procrastinated for over a week because I wasn't sure how to make a knife. And turns out, don't you just start chaining and stuff? I did about seven versions, but it's actually pretty simple. Um, this isn't a sturdy one. Like it's going to be a little flippy floppy, but um, if it's just sitting somewhere, it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm using a little sparkly gray. I think it's by, uh, it might be by Red Heart. I guess I should, nope, it's by Burnett. It's, uh... where is it? Soft gray sparkle five ounce. I love this silver. Anything glittery <laughs> I'm good with. Okay so that is my sheet. We're going to chain 11. Okay so one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we're gonna do two slip stitches starting in the second chain from hook. Try and keep this on the tighter side. So, this is your first chain from hook, this is your second. So, we're gonna be going in this one right here. And just two slip stitches. And if you have to tighten that right then, do that. So one, two. I didn't do my math, but I believe that leaves us eight half double crochets. 
So oh, if you're used to doing amigurumi, you might not remember a half. So for a half, you go wrap your yarn over once, go through um, your loop, grab your yarn, pull up and through, and you'll have three loops on your hook. And you grab your yarn and you go through all three. And you just repeat that seven more times. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oops. Seven. And eight. Boy, this yarn sparkle shows up good when I video. I can never get a picture of it sparkling. And then you're just going to slip stitch. Or not slip stitch. Tie off. Or did I slip stitch? No, nope, I tied off. Okay. A little bit of a tail because you are now going to weave your longest piece up and down through these stitches. I went right to the second last where I slip stitched and I left a slip stitch alone. But I went all the way up, um, whatever I considered the back, just to kind of strengthen this blade a little bit. So you just want to go up through the middle stitches, and it might be a little tight. So just take your time. So about to here. You come up and through, and this one, this one was a little tight for me, but I found if I pulled the stitches on the top and the bottom back and forth, instead of focusing on pulling my needle, that it worked a little better. And right now, if you want, you can kind of decide the length, like the more you, how can I hold this so you can see, the more you pull it, the shorter your blade will be. The least you pull it, the longer your blade will be. But it will be more stable if you pull it in a bit. I think I shrunk mine about halfway. And then you're going to go back down through so all the stitches you just came up. And out the bottom. I might have to do that as a separate pull here. You gotta pull it, but try and be careful not to wreck and stretch your yarn so your knife is out of shape. Yeah, there we go. Probably help if I use a different needle, but I've just always used this one and never get a new one. See, I pulled that a little bit too much. Okay, so that's the blade part. I'll put that down and we'll grab our handle color. Now you can tie this if you want. I think I will. Just so it's more secure. You want to tie it so it kind of lands in the middle. And then now I apologize for using black, but the um, this part is so easy, it's not really going to matter how well you see the stitches. So leave a bit of a tail. Make your loop because you're going to attach your black at the bottom of your knife on the smaller side. And you're going to slip stitch down in here somewhere. 
think I'm going to get that on the other side. So somewhere between your knife and where you tied your knot. And that will kind of keep it from sliding off. Because all we're going to do right now is we're going to crochet around all our ends. So um, if you want to do a tiny little two round or two row, two stitch or three stitch round and go around and around, that would be better. But anything under four single crochets, I just hate going around and around. So we're doing it this way. So all we're going to do is go around, that don't help, go around these tails and we're just going to single crochet. Like if you're going over a rubber band or elastic or a wire, or like when you went around the mask, the only difference is we just, we're doing it over our tails. So two, oh, I'm not even in the camera, three, oh, that's why. Four. I'm going to do about five. You do it however many you want. And don't worry about how this looks. Because after you um, do your slip stitch, you're going to leave a long tail. You're going to tie it off. And you're going to use this tail to go back and forth. Up and down, kind of into here. And you're just going to make that a little, see, I should have probably went there instead of there. If you wanted, you could have single crocheted up here. Um, just kind of play with it, whatever. After you make your first one, you'll know what kind of feels right for you. I just needed to get a knife. So this isn't going to be the nicest knife. And leave your tails here if you're doing like me and just going up and down because you're going to need these to kind of... I cut mine short and they started popping out right here. So leave your tails so you can kind of pull them back and forth if you have to. So just get a bunch of pieces. And it's going to be another tight, tight one again. I should do this off camera. There we go. But I'll show you the first couple that I'm doing. Now don't bring your tails in. It's going to be a mess, but there you go. And then if you did like me and didn't go in the middle, just grab a little piece of your knife up higher. And then you'll go back down and in, and that will kind of fix that a bit. And you'll just keep doing that until you think it's kind of... Well, this one doesn't look near as nice as my other one, but it's because I'm doing it with my hands straight out away from me. So see, this is this one looked like this. He's much neater. I took my time on it. Okay, we got her done. Um, I know this video was a little bit sloppy, so I thank you for hanging in with me and getting her done. Um, don't forget, if you like my videos and the way I make them, to hit the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I load a new video. Also, if you go down into the description and you click see more, there will be links to other um, characters that kind of fall in this genre, as well as um, a link to my Facebook craft page. 
you can go there and find the YouTube um, pinned post and you can leave a comment or a photo in there of what you've made as well as anything in the background here I have YouTube tutorials for if you visit my channel and go to the playlist tab under Amigurumi or quick and easy you will find them all there um, I think that's it so everybody whoops um, I hope you have a great day uh, stay safe and happy crocheting thanks for watching